Hi, this is Rich Martin again with your end of the year planning tips. We've talked about reviewing your 401k and your IRA. We've talked about reviewing your auto and home and renter's insurance. Today, I just want to talk about your life and health insurance. Life insurance and its tax-free distribution potential started in the 1950s as a safety net for families when the income earner died. And back 60 years ago, people were not living as long as they are today. It's still very important safety net today and should be reviewed annually. It gets more expensive as you get older, whether you choose whole life or term life. What you should be reviewing is your death benefit to make sure that there's enough death benefit there to cover your loved ones in your absence. That your chosen beneficiaries that you've designated on that life insurance policies are correct and haven't changed and that you know your present and future cost of insurance for planning. New health insurance laws continue to be written. Taxes and plan consequences will be revealed in the next several years. And if you have an employer-sponsored plan, make sure you read and ask questions about your plan changes or option choices. They're very important. You have, if you have an open market plan, you can call your agent, broker, or generally they'll refer you to the customer care number provided with uh, your policy for any questions. Again, it's something that you'll have to keep up with and uh, be up to date with through different bulletins that uh, you get your hands on through work or through your agent or insurance broker. So this week I leave you with another quote from another fourth grade ILS student. And this one comes from Raquel. Uh, her favorite verse was Psalm 51, verses 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Raquel writes, I like this because it's telling me that God will help me along the way with a pure heart. Also, it tells me that I will be someone who has a pure heart and a steadfast spirit. May you all enjoy the rest of this holiday season, this beautiful Advent season, and I look forward to sharing with you two more tips in the weeks to come. God bless.